very interesting knife today for review. It's a Kina knife. It's a chef's knife in there inside this box. Um, couple words, first of all, what it is. Kina knife, uh, handmade in Portugal. It's an upscale brand for uh, Curel. Curel makes um, like a quite common kitchen knives mostly. It makes uh, folding knives, traditional knives. And other uh, all kinds of cutlery, all kinds of uh, professional equipment for the restaurants, for the factories, and so on. Uh, they are located in the Portugal, obviously in that in the same industrial region as Isel and some other knife makers. Uh, but with this brand, with the uh, Kina, they uh, address uh, quite a, I should say, highly priced <laughs> knives. So this uh, chef's knife. Uh, at the moment on the, their website, it uh, costs uh, over two hundred dollars or two hundred euros, I should say, because I was there at their factory and I met with uh, this uh, very nice person, Vashka Matias. Um, he's one of I don't know, maybe he's a director of, of the whole thing. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, he shown me the knives. He shown me um, the factory. He gave me a shot of ginger right away as we started speaking, and I love ginger. If you don't know what ginger is, just this is ginger. If you can get that, it's a Portuguese, Portuguese sour cherry liquor. Very good stuff. So, back to the knife. You see how interesting and uh, uncommon this knife looks. Um, and the base, <laughs> the most interesting thing here is that um, the, all of those knives, they are unique. There's no other two alike. All of those handles, they are handmade. They, um, as Vashka explained um, to me, that they go uh, and collect materials which will be on the handles. They make batches of those uh, materials and then they make batches of the knives out of what they have. In the moment mine has as you can see um middle section is uh, some sort of horn uh, from the animal then i have a brass washers then i have uh, uh, ebony wood and some maybe cherry wood in here uh, they can have a leather or other metals other things take a look at there there will be pictures on their website for all kinds of knives and all kinds of uh, color combinations. But at the same time, as <laughs> Vashka said, the, the big problem is that people expect, when they order a knife online, they expect to look like they've seen on the picture. In reality, no, every knife will be unique. And even if it's not, not produced yet, or it will be produced per order, or maybe it's something from the batch they did, ne never sold, it will look always different, it will always look unique. And some people, of course, were disappointed with that, they uh, wanted specific color combinations, which I'm not sure if uh, they can guarantee that, uh, even per order, I don't know. So, <laughs> my best advice is go there, go there, Take a look at the knife, take a look at the quality of the knife, uh, choose the one which you have, have a shot of ginger, talk to Vashka uh, about that. Um, worth the trip, <laughs> in my opinion. Especially if you are in, in Portugal, don't fly across the world for that, uh, as I do. <laughs> I'm crazy about it. Uh, whenever I have a moment uh, on my business trips, I uh, go to those places, either knife shops or factories and so on. So, let's talk about the knife uh, construction and so on. So, as you can see, uh, it's pretty simple construction. It's a plain metal. Uh, uh, then, of course, the knife is cut, the knife is ground, the handle is made. There's a front bolster, there's a rear bolster, and the round handle uh, in uh, between those bolsters. The blade itself is made out of 12C steel. Um, they don't explicitly say it on the website, that I think uh, that's what Vashka told me. Um, good choice of steel for uh, uh, cutlery. It should hold the edge quite well and be relatively easy to sharp. Um, as you can see, the knife is ground very nicely. I actually, uh, when I looked at those knives, uh, I always look, first of all, is it straight or not? How how thin is the edge? 
This knife is very, very nice, very thin behind the edge, uh, very light and supple, almost invisible uh, grind line here, uh, which kind of like matches to the front bolster. There's no gaps here, nothing, all the good uh, fitting here. Yes, you kind of see where the tank goes in, but again, that's, that's how it is supposed to be. Nice, barely visible uh, match of those two uh, metal elements. In terms of um, stamping here, it's a laser cut, handmade in Portugal. Sometimes they say put high carbon stainless steel here. Mine doesn't have it. This uh, little logo is a little bit recessed on both sides. Other than that, Minimum branding, very nice blade, uh, nicely um, rounded right here, not super rounded, but just like chamfered a little bit on both sides, so no um, rough edges here, pretty nice and straight tip, as I said, a very, very thin edge, very nice and even sharpening. I did use this knife uh, for quite a while, uh, and I did resharpen this one, but from the factory it was pretty good sharpness and edge as well uh, and by the way handmade in that in their opinion it means that there might be some variations i've seen unfortunately a couple knives over there which i wouldn't buy from a quality point of view uh but as i said that maybe just from a show pieces or whatever um i hope if you order those knives they'll, those knives will be as good as mine if not of course return yeah, if you think something is done not, not right, then it doesn't work that. So, um, yeah, keep looking around the knife. A very uh, nice and back of the knife. No rough edges here, chamfered. And um, let's kind of try to balance this one. Of course, it is handle heavy because there's so many of those different materials here. Handle heavy knife. But in general, when I work with this knife, when I cook with this knife, it does perform surprisingly better than expected, I should say. So again, my expectations from this knife were, were relatively low. I pretty much bought it as the showpiece, as the... Uh, collection type of thing but of course i tried it to try to cook with this very very uh, positive um, feedback from the performance of the knife some people may say no it's too rough here and then again i agree yes ideally i want the front bolster to be angled uh, for more convenience but you know what this one just works again very nice piece um, as you can see, it comes in a very nice wooden box. It comes with this um, kind of like a sleeve. It's not real leather. It's some kind of like synthetic material. Very simplistic thing, but it helps a lot. I mean, uh, I've never seen such a solution that uh, the, the sleeve would be also with the uh, Velcro to keep knife inside the box. I think it works quite well. You can use just a sleeve and put the knife in a drawer, for example, then it wouldn't uh, bang there and um, cut, oh, sorry, not cut, damage the uh, edge. So you can uh, keep store the knife like this, or you can keep it in the, uh, uh, in the <laughs> box as well. So it holds it very nicely inside the box. There's nothing here, nothing there. So let's wrap up. Um, very nice knife, very interesting uh, design elements here. Um, so, as I say, first of all, understand do you really want to spend that much money on a knife? And second, if you have a chance to go there, um, go there, you can get a better price, you can get better welcome from the yeah, from Vashko or somebody else over there um if not uh, look at your website look if you like the design maybe they will put there some options to order at least some color combinations and so on um i don't know i like mine i'm happy with the quality of the knife i'm happy that i bought it that i didn't <laughs> decide to save on that money so very very nice uh feedback from there and again that's curel made uh, pocket knife traditional to um 
traditional design for the uh, Portugal. Again, this one goes in the shelf into my collection, into the, on the display. This one will go in and out of the kitchen whenever I feel the mood to use this type of fancy knife. Um, again, can't say anything bad about this. I'm really, really happy that I have it and sharing this feedback with you. All right, thank you for watching. I hope you will find it somewhat interesting. Uh, let me know if you have more questions. Um, stay sharp, stay tuned to the channel. There's more and more knives coming. I just don't keep, can't keep up with the videos. <laughs> I have too many knives to film and review. All right, talk to you soon, bye.